If you're thinking of buying a house or selling a house in Burlington anytime soon, uh, watch this video because uh, the numbers might surprise you uh, because the market is changing. And if you need any help buying or selling, you can call or text me here. Uh, so let's get start off with the supply and demand. Let's see what is going on in Burlington. Number of sales is actually down. Uh, that might actually surprise you because all you hear about is everything selling in three days, four days. But if you compare it to the month of May, uh, the sales are down. And that's not just Burlington. I've done market update videos on other cities as well. Um, they are down anywhere from 10% to 15, even as high as 17% in some areas. So sales are down if you compare May to June, which is in orange. But uh, another thing to keep an eye on is new listings. New listings are actually up. That's the highest we've seen since I would say all the way back up until last June. So uh, the new listings are up. You can see here they have been going up every single month. That's in dark blue. And the gap between sales and new listings is right here. So this gap is widening every single month. You can see here like how tight the gap was. But look at this. It has almost doubled in just one month. So new listings are up. Uh, sales are down. Active listings are also up. You can see uh, the gap between active listings and sales. It was tiny right here in the month of May. And now we are sitting at a reasonable gap between active listings and number of sales. So those three key stats, I think, are useful, whether you're buying or selling. I think it's good to know both of those, all three of those stats. Now, let's see month by month what is happening in terms of pricing, which way our price is going. By the way, if you guys like this kind of stuff, please like and comment um, because it does help the channel grow. And um, it makes me happy. So win-win. <laughs> Okay, so detach average prices. So this is what has been happening uh, since the beginning of the year. January was the lowest we've had. So they have been going up every single month, except May, April to May. Like they went down slightly, about 12,000. And now they have come down a little bit, another 12,000 or so. Uh, but overall, prices are still holding steady because prices are usually the last thing to fall. It's the other signs you start to see before anything happens to prices, like new listings uh, going up, sales coming down, things taking longer to sell. So those are the kind of stats that you want to kind of keep an eye on if you want to see which way the market's going and where it might be in a couple of months. And freehold townhouses, uh, these are the average prices for freehold townhouses. They had been going up uh, every single month all the way up until May, but they have dropped in the month of June. So average price for a freehold townhouse is $958,000 right now. Uh, kind of time what was happening in the month of May and uh, March. Okay, so that is freehold townhouse average prices. Condos, uh, condos buildings only, not condo townhouses. Condo average prices, they are sitting at $663,000. And in the month of May, they were selling for $737,000. So that's a reasonable drop in just one month. Uh, but keep in mind, average prices do tend to fluctuate a bit more. So let's see what else I have for you. Now, if you are a seller, um, I don't think you need to worry just yet uh, because a lot of homes are still selling above asking price. Uh, we're sitting at four out of 10 homes selling above asking price. Now, obviously they are selling with that. I always have to put this disclosure uh, because a lot of homes are being priced below market value to get that attention. It's just kind of become the norm nowadays. A lot of people are employing this strategy. I'm not saying good or bad, you know, that's not my business. Um, but homes are still selling above asking. And as you saw before, the prices are still kind of doing okay. Usually it's the other signs that you see before the prices drop. Now, if you want to see a five-year comparison, let's see what has been happening ever since uh, June 19. So this is June only, June 19, uh, 2019 all the way to June 2023. So this is as apples to apples comparison as you can get. So the highest price we've seen in the last five years, uh, if you look at June only, was last June, 1.63. And if you compare that to now, we're sitting at 1.49, which I showed you before. And back in June 2019, you can get a detached for a million dollars. And imagine like if you were one of the lucky ones who timed it right and sold in 2022, right? Uh, but we all know that's not really how life works. Uh, hardly ever you ever get that lucky. Uh, freehold townhouses, uh, they are sitting at 958. And back in 2019, they were selling for 638,000. 
condo buildings only not a like not much change from 2019 to 2020 like actually a drop of 3000 then a huge jump like they jumped like over two hundred thousand dollars in just one year and they were sitting at about 650 last year now we're sitting at six hundred sixty three thousand dollars and uh, i will be doing market updates for other cities as well like oakville milton halton hills and stuff like that so keep an eye out for those but like i said if you have any questions about the market or if you're thinking of buying or selling uh, you can reach me here uh, you can call or text whatever is easier i'll see you next time thanks bye